child. So I'm sitting here debating whether or not I want to do a review on a Real Housewives new season first episode because it was kind of giving, but then again, it didn't give me anything. So I decided not to. So I'm scrolling and looking and scrolling these social media streets. And what do I come across? Oh, Miss Betty still that lady is so full of jealousy it does not make any sense okay so she's been responding to a couple of um posts that's been made on facebook as she usually does miss betty still is in these social media streets honey and just like miss wanda and just like any other mother they come to the defense of their children however it's a certain way you're supposed to do these things like there's a certain decorum you're supposed to have when you're out here presenting yourself to the world and while miss betty is defending stormy she does what she usually do. She is coming at the mail and it is ridiculous. It's to the point now, like, lady, what really is your problem? What is your problem for real? Like, why do you have this issue with this girl? She's a woman, but compared to Miss Steele, Melody is a girl, a little girl. Like, she's a full grown woman, but baby, you are old enough to be her grandmother. I assume it looks like it. I don't know, but. This is a main, one of the reasons why I don't like Stormy. I don't like Stormy's attitude. I don't like Stormy's behavior. And I don't like Storm, where Stormy comes from. I do not like Stormy's mother. You are so angry and for what? While defending Stormy and trying to um, clarify that Stormy has been in Huntsville, Huntsville for years, she had to throw in there, about oh melody well she didn't say melody but she said the hero we know who she's talking about melody is packing orders and running work from her home and i don't blame her when you think about it if you're able to do it alone or if you have a couple of hands that's willing to help it makes sense to package your e-commerce orders from your home opposed to get in a warehouse that way you don't have to pay extra rent extra utilities extra storage space no get that at your house and you save that extra money and invest it in your business that makes perfect sense to me other than getting a million dollar loan that you can't pay back that you're going to struggle to fulfill the orders and you're going to struggle to fulfill your duties your end of the bargain like come on i don't understand it what makes good business sense to some does not make it to others and the others are usually the ones that's left with ish on their faces it's ridiculous while you're trying to build up your daughter what do you get out of trying to bring melody down that's this crab in a bucket mentality i've been speaking on that i've always spoken on it and i will continue to speak on it because i don't understand it women black women what is so hard about just giving another woman their props what is so hard about standing you don't even have to stand with me just don't try to throw salt on my name don't try to throw dirt on my name don't try to tear me down break me down to build somebody else up this is what i do not understand why is it that when she's trying to uplift her daughter stormy she has to throw mel's name in the mix and try to drag her I don't get it. Like, what do you get out of that? Um, besides the fans continuing to dislike you and your daughter even more. And then once the fans and the YouTubers and the commentators go in on your child and you, your child feeling some type of way, some type of way. Excuse me. She can't take it. She can't deal with it. She's breaking down. You're mad every day and everybody want to blame Mel about it. Y'all can't blame that woman because we're saying what we want to say. We're, we're speaking on how we feel and what we see and how it makes us feel like you can't do that. You can't blame her. Just like it may be unfair for me to judge Stormy off of you, but she's a product of you. I'm not a product of Melody. I didn't come. We didn't come from her. She came from you. And this is your behavior. And this is what you're exhibiting and what you're showing us. And then we see the same uh, actions from Stormy Loki. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Carlos, you are failing. You are failing miserably. You are doing this show no justice. No justice. Okay, so then I can throw in a little review from the last episode, right? So from the last episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville, I'm going to speak on Martell. 
Martell, in my opinion, I think that Martell misses Melody and he misses his family dynamic. He misses everything about his marriage that he has. And I think he regrets wholeheartedly losing everything that he had. So it's a sense of the whole cast is now slowly coming around to realize that even all of them together is not a force strong enough to tear Melody down. So it seems like people are slowly coming back around to, okay, I don't have an issue with Mel. Hence, Mel and Tisha, you know, now they're talking. Marceau not trying to drag Mel as much. Uh, Maurice not trying to drag Mel as much. And when Mar Martel notices that, uh, okay, Mel and Tisha are talking, it's the, the little shade that he throws. Oh, when did they become besties? Oh, it's a little thing that Melody does, like inviting someone to a birthday party that you said it wasn't even your friend. You didn't even like. You didn't have to throw that in there, sir. I'm quite sure Marceau knew that Melody probably had ill things to say about Tisha. She said ill things about her hair. What do you think? And it's just the fact that I think that Martel is just now being defeated he admitted that he did not want full custody of the kids but it was the fact that he was like you know um he wants to drop the child custody case or he's not interested in it anymore because now Mel is doing things to his liking as far as uh caring for the kids and showing up for them baby don't nobody have to do nothing to your liking because nothing that you did was to our liking thanks Ariane for that word for that term <laughs> baby we don't care about that it's just the fact that all of the, the 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 barriers and trials that you try to put on this woman has failed and it's failed miserably and now you're giving in as you should and him showing up to that birthday party uninvited listen it's for the people saying well she should have invited him it's not about them it was about the kids it's the kids birthday party no that's why she have him her seven she has those kids her seven days he has those kids his seven days throw your own party spend your own money there has been holidays when that woman has spent without her kids and he's gonna say well just because she's willing to do it don't mean that i am yes you should be it's called respect it's called boundaries it's called obeying the court's orders no she shouldn't have invited him to that child's part to those kids party and if it's about the kids so much then don't shouldn't those kids be able to see their mom in a good light see their mom both their parents happy and healthy and inviting someone into her space that she doesn't want there is not going to have her happy and healthy he shouldn't have been there she should not have been obligated to let him stay he needs to throw his own party and celebrate those kids the same way she does when she don't have them. It's not on his terms. Who cares? Yes, you're their father. You show up for them when you have them and do what you're supposed to do as she does. It's unfair. And for the people that saying she was petty for not letting him stay, how about y'all throw the kids a party and let him come? That woman don't want him around her. And it's not about the kids. It's about the fact that maybe he didn't have the money to throw the party for the kids or he just wanted to be around Melody, period. And he is not, he, he's not old that. He's not old that. Baby, take it up with the courts. This is something, this is something that he decided to do. And now he has to deal with it. I don't get why people don't get that. Why don't you understand that? Why is that so hard to comprehend? She does not have to make life easy for him. He made he made that bed hard. Now he has to lie in it. Oh, Lord, what is wrong with these people? But baby, we're going to keep watching. We're going to keep listening. And we're going to keep talking. Mm-hmm.